Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to yet another Hearthstone show with my trusty orange water bottle. Ah, yes. Ah. I have found that if I just have this water bottle filled always, I, without effort, drink continuously. And you know what that's good for? Someone who's trying to be power hot. I've been slipping on the dieting lately. I've been slipping. And by slipping, I mean like ordering pizza on a Wednesday. And is that ever good? Now, the thing is, a lot of people feel existential guilt. Is there something wrong with me? I broke my diet. Oh, I'll never lose the weight. I have been weighing myself, you know, twice a day, every day. And the weight's not doing anything. Because for all the calories we're not eating when we're being healthy, we gain them right back with the pizza. And let me tell you, it's awesome. It's awesome. I have no regrets. It's amazing. But we're sort of trying to re-get back on the thing. We're trying to re-get back on the power hot diet as best we can. And to celebrate, we're going to run a deck that I feel like is a little dirty. It's going to be good. It's, uh... Devolve Lust Shaman. Now, this deck uh, uses some of the traditional pieces of the aggro bursty guys. But let's go ahead and just put in the important pieces. Okay, Bloodlust. What do you know? This card is good if you have a lot of nerds. Okay. Alright, so far so good. Everything makes sense? How do we get nerds? What are the good nerds? Well, if we know anything, it's that Firefly is just sick. We love this card. This card's awesome. To a douche. Um, you know what else is good? Some of these pirates. Bloodsail Corsair. It's a little durable. Patches the pirate. It's free. Okay. Okay. You get it? Seems good. Seems good so far. Yeah. Right? Like it? Good. Uh, there's a couple of the other ones. Uh, Pri Primal Fin Totem. From the Fin Totem, which as you know, not only is a nerd, but produces little nerds. Alright, cool. And if we want to get card draw, we may as well have a nerd that draws us. Um, and... <coughs> Sorry, I almost died. Um, at this point, we're starting to say, hey, okay, alright, we're, we're trying to get a lot of little nerds on the board and bloodlust for a finisher. You know what goes really well with the summoning of little nerds on the board? Jade Claws. Yeah. Eye of Black Paw and Jade Lightning. Now, no, we're not trying to get huge with the Jades, right? We're not trying to go ham and get some 7-7s seven sevens with Taunt with the Jade Chieftain. We're not trying to do that. We're just trying to get nerds on the board. It's kind of like it's kind of like Token Druid. Um, let me, of course, if we have nerds on the board, we may as well put Flame Tongue Totems in there, right? So far, seems so good. But here is where we get we get really sexy, okay? Here's where things get really cool, all right? You know what would really get in the way of our win? Well, first of all, someone who can make so many little nerds, he gets board control early. Not gonna let that happen. You know what would really suck is if he had some big scary creatures we couldn't get past. Boom, we're gonna devolve them. Ugh. Yes. And to be thematically appropriate, if we have a whole bunch of nerds on the board, we should evolve them. Yes! We're running two of them! I'm serious! Yeah. Oh, yeah. It feels good. It feels good to see the list. Uh, now, some other things that I think are cool. His thing from below is running this list. It's pretty tight, right? He's a great evolved, evolved target, but he's also good at protecting our infinite horde of dudes. And this, I think, is one of the coolest pieces. Stonehill Defender gets up on in there. Now, Stonehill Defender is a cool card. Anyways, because it is really nice in the curve. It's a 1-4. Come on, hover. It's a 1-4. And a 1-4 is just really lovely for 3 mana in order to protect these little guys. It works great with a Flame Tongue Totem. It's kind of like a DIY Totem Golem for 1 additional mana. <laughs> God, that card's really good. Um, but if you look at the taunts that are here, it's like White Eyes, Earth Elemental, which is good for a big horde of small nerds. Hot Spring Guardian is fine. And Alakir the Windlord. Oh, and Thing from Below. Like, I, I didn't actually look at this list. There's one, two, three, four, five guys, and that's it. I believe that the, neither of these count because it is a battle cry effect. I mean, I'm actually certain that they don't, but I'd like to say I believe that they don't because it kind of softens the blow for someone who did. 
And I think it's really, really cool that we can actually get some, some tough nerds. And look at this, we got a nice curve, things are looking good. And because we are, in fact, an evolved deck, we may as well run the Doppelganger. Now this deck looks so cool to me because it is trying to get a lot of nerds on the board. Oh. It's trying to get a lot of little nerds on the board in order to bloodlust them out, but it also has this alternative value coming out of Evolve. Which I think is really cool. A lot of the Evolve decks that I've seen have run Jades. Um, but some of them have, never, have not really been that effective. For Doomhammer. Do I do I keep the evolve? I think I absolutely do not keep the evolve. I think I do something. I'm just gonna keep everything, man. I don't give a, I don't give a damn. I'm keeping all this stuff. Why? Because I want to. That's it. That's I, I do in fact think this is bad, but uh, no, it's not bad anymore, dude. Look at this. Boom. I mean, that, that just puts my hand completely face up. He knows precisely that I have a flame tongue code. But do you see me caring? I certainly don't see me caring. I don't see me caring anytime soon, in fact. Now, if I run this out, I think this is actually the desirable play, because I want to get the, the Manor Tide totem down. I could have put it on this side, which meant Mana Tide would have been all the way to the left. To my side. Oh! The bastard. Just gonna draw man. Ooh. Match it, fool. Ooh, a doppelganger. If we get a huge thing off. Yeah, I mean, look, there's all these, like, evolve. Ah, Smurgle, Smurgle, Durgle. Ah, I'm going to attack. Ah. All right, now, this is this is truly going to be a thing of, of beauty. I just, I just know that it will be good. Mmm. Oh, that is so sweet. Now, do I want to run this down now? <coughs> or do I want to hit him with the patches? It's probably best to do this. And this is slightly awkward because, you know, technically I want to keep up the board, you know, but <clears throat> no big deal. We, we suboptimally mulliganed um, purely for the sake of awesomeness. But, uh, you know, I haven't played Hearthstone in a while, so I'm not going to come back on and be like, oh my god, I gotta try as hard as I can. Oh, uh, it's not why I ever played Hearthstone, man. I gotta say. I, I gotta say. Biggest thing. Is this... Did I accidentally adjust this window size? No, it's correct. Let me just pop it again. <laughs> window size looked a little off to me. Dude, I've said this before, but Hearthstone is like the perfect I'm gonna have a glass of scotch at the end of a long day mm. and chill. Goody Two Fuse says, "Did you see the update that's coming?" Uh, yeah, I actually did. It's the like uh, deck lists thing, and it looks cool. Quickly. So I definitely want to hit this guy first because he's starting to. <laughs> Mails from Portal one time. Mm. Oh god. Do you think I can make it? I think I might be able to make it. Yeah, so they have importable and exportable deck lists. Well, this is okay. This is okay. Let's not, let's not get ourselves all in a tussy. I can't wait for this. I can't wait for this. Where's the deck list? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I actually, I have the table. Thanks for the reminder. I, oh, I've i just been very irresponsible about that lately. Yes! Yes! 
Holy shit! <laughs> That's awesome! Uh, so he's like dead next turn. Uh, he has to start clearing hard. <laughs> yeah! Thank you all so much for reminding me about the deck list. You are not prepared! <laughs> Holy shit. Each time you play a beast. Okay, that's pretty worthless. Okay, let's count this. Nine. Ten. Okay, nine plus seven is sixteen. Jesus. Nine plus seven is sixteen. Plus five is twenty-one. Plus three, plus three, plus three <laughs> is 30 damage. I mean, this is so ridiculous. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Yay! Woohoo! Oh shit, I adjusted the window size again with my spamitude. Come on, pop back to normal. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Dude. Good job, me. All right, we want to chuck back these things that are not early game control. So if I'm if I'm really asking myself, what do I want a mulligan for? Almost always, um, almost always, I would say actually 100% of the time I want Firefly, Jade Claws, and Primal Fin Totem. I would say in this matchup, it's also great to get the Blood Sail Corsair. And I think just generally speaking, uh, it's great to have a Blood Sail Corsair in the opening hand. Um, All right, well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and pass it. By the way, in case you didn't to be clear, this one gets this deck. This guy right here, the wall of taunts, they're gone. This one right here, this is a good one. This one right here. Let the pain speak to me. So I think I do this because this obviously would permit him to draw and permit me no draw. And all I ever really want to do is draw. <clears throat> Proud Demons' this question, do we cut Hex in this deck because we have the Devolves? Or is there any other reason? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the biggest reason we don't include a card is that it doesn't serve any specific purpose in the deck. Um, okay, so I think that I actually just chill for an additional turn. This game's gonna be a slightly longer one. Um, I mean, Hex is obviously a really great card, but if I'm building boards and trying to get significant turns as a result of it, you know, it's very reasonable not to. Okay, so I want to play this and uh, luckily roll the mana tide, not the mana tide, the uh, super spell power. We didn't, which stinks. Stinkeronis and the pepperoni. Uh, do I want to cast this now? I mean, I could do this and deny him draws. That could, that could be reasonably effective, but I think I'm going to just pop this down. Except that this sucks. Now, depending on what he does this turn, I would anticipate that he goes... All right. Guys, we ran out of hard drive space. I ran out of hard drive space. It it Four stopped my last recording. Let's see if it actually worked, though. Yeah, oh shit, that's what's going wrong. I just have, like, so much garbage in there. Let's see here. How many? That's two gigabytes. Should largely be in here. I ain't fucking. Does it work?
Ooh, shit. That might, that might be busted. My stream this morning might be busted as hell, man. Okay, let's see if we can salvage things a bit, yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna do something like this. Um, okay, and then I'm going to... I uh, couldn't quite figure out a way to do this otherwise. Be huge! <clears throat> Guys, we have exactly zero viewers right now, isn't that sad? The menagerie is for guests only. And we won, right? We won. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, so that's ten and fifteen. Fifteen plus just an absolute metric shitload is enough. Let's see if we can dodge the taunt. Holy shit, are we serious? This is disgusting. Mana Storm. Let me actually check another thing. Let me check my Hollow Knight playthrough from the other day. This runs perfectly smoothly. Yeah. versus my ebb. None can escape my fury. For Doomhammer. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, guys, I'm gonna have to run a repair tool on my Hollow Knight playthrough. If any of you have never played Hollow Knight, you gotta play Hollow Knight. You gotta, gotta, gotta. Play, play, play. Hollow Knight, hip, hooray, hooray, hooray. This is a nice turn. Because then I can just do this next turn and pop him in his head. Perfect. Love it. Shoot him. I love the Brian Kibler video about Urgh. this particular deck. I loved it. Loved it. Superlatively. I thought it was so fantastic. Such a brilliant video. Where Brian Kibler talked about how even though this deck... Perfect. Alright, so I'm to lose all the fireflies, yeah. Oh god, that feels that feels really good. Yeah, so Brian Kibler's video, he talks about that this deck has less than a 50% win rate. It tends not really to be a dominant deck that is at the top of the meta. However, it is a deck that is very oppressive and polarizing. In other words, more aggressive decks easily crush it. Any more controlly style deck gets crushed by this. And so what it means is that you end up with a meta where very slow controlly decks literally cannot even hope to live because when they are up against this deck it's essentially an auto loss that is really ridiculous this is really ridiculous so I'm gonna do like this and then he dies next turn unless he does some significant clearing right and I just think that's a beautiful articulation with the of the issue with Quest Road. And the thing that's also really surprising to me about Quest Road that um, Brian Kibler also highlighted in the video is that you can play in a way that gives you a lot of five damage things 
like Dragon Fire Potion to deal five damage to everything that's on the board, clearing a quest rogue after he's completed the quest. And yet, even when you do that, you often lose enemies. So I think I just simply do this, and simply do this, right? Um, God dang, you lose so many uh, viewers when your stream goes down for a second. It sucks. But that when you're running many of these you know, end damage spells, like five and up damage spells, even when you are running many of those, you can still lose to the quest rope because they're so efficient at bursting you down with charge minions. Which seems a little counterintuitive to say, I am going to build my control deck specifically to beat Quest Rogue. And then you can't really beat the Quest Rogue. I am in charge now. Um, I think he knows. Drink with me, friend. It's just gonna have them bounce each other a lot. Four, five, six, seven. Seven plus twelve is enough. And so, because there's no real good control methodology to combat against a quest rogue, it winds up um, pushing everyone towards more aggressive archetypes. I think this is great. I think this is really great, because I can... Yeah, I think I'm actually going to keep all of these. Because I have my turn one play to run out both of these. My turn two play is this. My turn three plays this. My turn four plays this, right? I'm Holy fuck a mole. Okay, so this is a very reasonable opening for us. Because we can play this. Boink. He might have a mere entity. He might have a counter spell. No. Good. Um. And, you know, for someone like me that primarily plays this game to do... I mean, let's not kid ourselves, to do some derp-ass, dumb-ass shit. For someone like me, it can be relatively problematic. I think I, I clear, and then I play the Blood Sail Corsair on the left. If someone like me who just likes to mess around and fiddle with interesting decks and stuff that aren't, you know, mega, 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 mega aggressive. So this could be a potion of polymorph, which is fine, because that would probably trigger a voice. Oh, yes! Mmm, that's what I'm talking about right there. These are the cards that will win the game. I'm going to choose this. For someone like me that likes to do fiddly, silly decks... If the meta is this fundamentally aggressive space, I'm late. I'm late. then things can suck. Okay, so... This could be a counterspell. So which one do I want to be countered more? I think probably this is the better one to get countered. I mean, it hurts, it hurts, certainly, but I think that's fine. Could be another counter spell. We're going to find out. We're going to do this first. I think that we are easily going to crush this game. He's, a, he's basically out of steam. Elements. 
I think it's going to be extremely difficult for him to to withstand my paddle diving. An incredible discovery. Hurts a bit. Hurts a bit. Oh, that's right. Primordial Glyph is just an awesome spell. Just an incredible ass spell, dude. Thing is that Devolve is not good against this card because it's already an overcosted thing. Oh, ah. Well, when that doesn't happen, we're in good shape. Bring it on, neck neb. He doesn't really have terribly much oomph in what he's going to be doing for the rest of all time. Healing. Damn. Damn. Kill it. A Fjord Ball. Uh. This is actually becoming a bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Good. Oh shit. That's so funny. That's a spellbender, that is so funny. You <laughs> just like hard devolve. <laughs> Mana Bind was created by a thing, right? Or was he? He's just running Mana Bind, huh? C'est intéressant. Okay, well. When you glyph into Tome into Arcane Missiles, that, that does beat me. That is something that is better than my deck, for sure. Leaf Cena, happy two year anniversary. What a pleasure. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna be a Twitch con this year. Oh my god, Primordial Glyph. Primordial Glyph is just too good. I'm with the Cabal! Me? Oh, I'm with the Cabal. And then he's gonna shoot me. What? That's actually a very clever little addition to the, uh, to the deck. I don't think there's a damn thing I can do about this. This is... We were in really good shape until we glyphed into Ball's Tome. Got us! Glyph into Cabal's Tome into... Arcane Missiles, Greater Arcane Missiles. Those were rough, rough, rough for us. Uh, he's used a Fireball, though, and he's used a Frostbolt, so he's, he's perhaps a little low on the voiced. Totally fine. <laughs> he just counters it. Okay. You see? Oh god, I, I miscount my man here. No big deal. You know what? He's gonna clear it somehow. Then we're gonna get a devolve next, or an evolve following turn. We're gonna feel like it was all worth it. Alright, we lost. I think the only way we can win is if we somehow rip something lucky. Alright, well. That's one, of the, that's one of the classic Hearthstone. Not too terribly much to learn here. 
Yeah, maybe we could have done something a little different in the earlier turns. Could have perhaps more aggressively killed that uh, Cabal Crystal Runner. But the Primordial Glyph into Cabal's Tome into Greater Arcane Missiles, Arcane Missiles, and Cone of Cold. Kind of... You, asked for you know, those are real good cards against a deck that runs multiple small nerds. You know what I mean? That's just a real good draw. I think this is actually okay to do as well. Eh. Ah, oh, the manor totem. I will say, it's games like those that can only make me feel so competitive about Hearthstone. Where it's like, oh, well, none of my decisions matter here. <laughs> and, and you know what? I really struggle to figure out how to even describe what irks me about that. Like, I actually have trouble finding the appropriate language for that. And what I mean by that is like, yes! Trading a two mana card for a one mana. What I mean by that is that I am okay with card games that have knowable randomness to them. Like, I love the idea of learning what his deck could possibly be. I want to play this first in case it's a mere entity for whatever reason, but I think it's one of those little mega control value guys. I feel really good about. Things like, oh, I'm up against a f uh, Freeze Mage, and I am counting the cards that he has there in order to determine an appropriate course of action on a given turn. Or, um, you know, in poker, this is the chance that he has a flush draw, so I'm going to go all in. And I know that based upon this probability, this is a good choice. Even if I get screwed, it's a good choice. And in that context... The luck, I feel like I can know and I can wrap my head around and I can prepare for and against. And, uh, let's see here. I have a, I have several options here. If I do this... You know, I think I like this the one the best, where I do this. Run patches down on top of here, and then do this. And then some totem on the other side. That looks good. It's the glyphs and the... Um, Kabbalah's Tome that feel... Oh, what a badass. I love that card. Good on him for running that card, man. That's tight. Let's rip an Evolve off the top and really make him hurt. Out of my um, I think Stegadon is good. He stays alive. Buys me time to get him Evolve. Or I can just blad lust him. Yeah, there's just this, like, something about the how hard it is to track and predict. Like, you know, Cabal Courier. Oh, I guess he has that card now. I guess it appears the, to be the case that... So this is a, a, a cryomancer. Oh, that came out of the other thing. Okay, very well, very good. Go okay, just girl, keep playing guys, right? Go on. In. Draw a card, any card. Ooh, double devolve. So for instance, like let's say that I lost this game. Here is a turn where I have a lot of question marks in my head. I have this devolve. Am I overvaluing devolves? I uh, have two bloodlusts. Am I overvaluing bloodlusts? Is that what's going wrong? Am I just like walking into things like flame strike too often here? Um, am I walking into things like certain death too much here? This to me says 
I got you. Well, I think that the only awesome play is double the ball bloodless, right? play to do. You know, if I lose that game, I could look back at that turn and say it was that turn where I took a lot of damage. I can wrap my head around it. Um, but yeah. You just like go shoot. Ice ball, ice ball ping. Ice ball, ice ball ping. No, very nice. Very nice. Very, very cool. Very cool. Super duper... Nifty, thrifty, tastic. Uh, I guess I'm gonna do this. I don't know why, but it feels feels pretty cool to me to do this. And I'm gonna do that. I'm also, stunning Megalostegla man, because I think it's a good choice. Because it has a little bit of uh, good old survivability, so I can glad lust him down. Excuse me, you are on fire. You died. Oh. See, I'm totally okay with those kinds of losses. These kinds of losses are like, alright, um, we've played the deck for all of five games. Five games? Yep, five games. Well, I need another 20 or so to feel comfort with it. There posed interesting questions for me to try to answer. It's great. Oh, Nothing interesting happened out of that the ball's time. Except for oh, perhaps this discussion. Mind. It's a good discussion. Also, I had a weird melding choice in that last game. I'm going to chuck this back and see if I can build the bard. I think I definitely need to not value devolves so highly. I think I can just bang them out. Boom! Kill boom! Kill boom, kill boom. I think really I need to use the devolves uh, as two things. One is to just pound their board into the ground almost immediately. All right, so Jade Claws is going to be the play, and then followed by Primal Fin Total. God, that just works out nicely, doesn't it? That mana just feels so good. <laughs> Alright, here is the question. I mean, I can run this down, but I really just don't want to get many more beasticles. Uh, which is the better play here? Could Crackling Razor mod this, but I don't know if there's anything that I'm too terribly frightened of. I'm actually just going to do that. I don't like the other play as much, because if he, like, Crackling Razor mods this, and the result is anything but good. Like, if he gets taunt or some other such thing. Oh, and this is perfect. Great. I could devolve him immediately. So I think I'm going to give him the less tempting play, and I'm going to do this. Of course, going to end the turn. He doesn't have coins, that means he can't um, hit me with the Houndmaster. Can't hit me with the Houndmaster. Get it? This is actually fine. We're just gonna devolve and see what we get. He couldn't resist the eight damage. Oh, he's a chicken now, isn't that sweet? It might have been better to hit here, actually, so that way I can keep the two points of damage. You know, I think that was a mistake. I think I should have just done that. I'm a little less concerned about slamming down the doppelganger. Oh, 
Raunchy, what a pleasure to see you. Man. The young dragon hawk. It's a young dragon hawk. This is this is great. This is really great. Oh, Kragasms all around. Uh, so you can do this. I can pop this guy. I gotta trade one in there. Boom. I gotta do this. I'm gonna put this one down as well. And then we're gonna hit him with the face toaster. So sick face toasting, man. I placed it like this because I kind of want to hit with this and then this and then hit with that again. So that way the only thing I'm really losing is the primal fin totem. By the way, I was reading some custom Hearthstone cards and one of my favorite mm -hmm. mechanics that I read among those was the... Oh, really? Is that your choice? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to hit with both of these. We're also going to play the Doctor Gangsters. We're going to evolve everyone into this army. Holy fucking shit! Look at that board! Are you serious? Wow, that feels great. This, wow, Wicker, Wicker Snatch Burn Spark is just hot on the left. And there's a Raptor Hatchling. I gotta be careful because he'll have a 4 3 for 1 later. And that's valuable. Well, five, ten. Okay, wait. Let me do this. Five, ten, thirteen. Fair Thank you. Well. By the way, you like this? Now I'm going to say something that you'll never be able to unsee. This shirt... Our spaceships made out of condiments. We have ketchup, we have mustard, and of course, we have delicious Thousand Island. No, Dr. Grief! 50 months of versary! Holy moly! 50 months, wow, went by so fast. Yeah, I feel like... Last few years are sort of blurred together. It's actually like uh, X-wing fighters, and there's the Death Star in the background. But, you know, versus Leandrin. Can't can't unsee it now. My hammer burns with holy fire. For Doomhammer. Ermagird, my hammer. God, I want condiments, fucking. Bad. I love condiments. Condiments are sick. Where'd my pen go? Where are the little, little penaroni? Ah, I found you, motherfucker. Yes. <laughs> then ate Joel sub for three months and says, damn, I can't beat 50. You can. You just have to, you have to idle for a bit. Oh, now that we're, now that we're back to the, almost to the viewer count that we were when we disconnected for a brief moment, I need to say, I need to be really clear on this. You have to buy Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is amazing. I actually want to go to Hollow Knight Steam Spy. And we're going to take a look at what those statistics say. Has it gone up since I've been streaming? I'd like to think so. I'd like to think that I had this exorbitantly positive impact on the game. Without being vain, it looks like a whole lot of people in April bought it. It actually looks like since I started playing, uh, it's gone down. Damn. <laughs> but it's a nice little game. Yeah, it's, it is a Metroidvania-style game. I... For sure. Should I? Hmm. Do I want to keep the blood sail, Snorsair? Dude, I gotta tell you, I am I'm getting a little excited right now at the prospect of eating some chicken, black beans, and spinach after this. 2D Dragon says, how long did you play Hollow Knight for? For approximately 24 hours. I think I'm like 24, 32 or something. Oh my god, Stubmaster1991 says, I'm gonna have to cancel my sub, just lost my job, so I need to save money, don't worry, I still love you. Dude, I'm so sorry to hear about your job. Should I? Look forward to seeing you again. I totally understand. Why wouldn't I play Corsair? Well, because I have a turn one play. I have a turn two play. This I can't do on turn three because of the overload, so I can play this. Um, 
And then it's turn four, and it's very... It's very reasonable that we may be up against some kind of weapon. And so I want to at least open the door to get my Blood Sail Corsair extra value. And if that doesn't come, I'll just play him as soon as I can. But, you know, it has the potential to do something nice for us. I also think Doppelgangster will be quite strong against this Murloc Mon. Duvall's actually strong as hell against options, that. Options. Longest subs are probably people like Lord Vashi, Catbird321. Filthy rake. <laughs> that is an excellent pickup. This is so interesting. Ooh, baby! So I would not be surprised to, for instance, see True Silver Champion hit this, and then I can run out of Blood Sail Corsair. We don't know that this is 100% a Murlocodon. It could be a mid-range Murloc, man. Deferber DX says, out of curiosity, why did you clear rather than going face? Um, Options. I mean, th this is really the purpose of this deck, is to establish sturdy control over the board and then finish them with the Bloodlust. So, just in that vein. Holy shit, I didn't even see that I had an Evolve here. What am I, blind? And everyone's like, yeah. This is very nice for us, I believe. Yeah. So right now, with the arrival of the Murloc Tidecaller, I am now nearly certain that we are up against a aggressive Murloc deck, which makes it even better that I've been clearing. Vox on two says Dan is one of the few who have subs that are so old they didn't sub on Twitch. Is that true? God, that might be true. Let's see. So we are in 2017. Hmm. So 2016, 2015, 2014, 2013, 2010. What the hell? What the hell happened to my math? 2016, 2015, 2014, 2013, 2012, 2011. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Voxon. You're right. Should you're totally I... right. Because I believe that Twitch TV officially launched sometime between April oh, and July. Room. I think. I want to surmise that. So I'm doing this because it will be extremely hard for him to kill this and this. So then we'll get even more double gangster value. That is true, Boxon. That is very true. Options. Dr. Grievous, you have great memory, Sean. All that shit is just a blur now. It's less a good memory and more an occupational consequence where a lot of people will ask questions like in interviews and stuff and be like, and where did blah and blue and blue come from? And I'll be like, I, I don't know. I actually have zero idea whatsoever. And then I'll look it up and I'll get an answer and then I'll forget a little bit later. God, why do I get this guy so much? Why do I get this guy so much? This is awesome. I gotta, I gotta check up on the cat real fast. I'm slightly... Ow! Ow, I hit... You okay, kitten? Should I... Hmm. Alright, she's just meowing at the door. But I have shut for the purposes of sound. 
thought like I always have this like absolute uncontrollable anxiety that um one of the cats got locked out. Just absolute horror that one of the cats got locked out. Oh shit! Doing work, Laura Walker show. Six. Okay. So whenever the cats are meowing, there's this irrational part of my brain that goes, Oh my god, Sheriff's meowing because Despy got locked out. Despy's meowing because Sheriff got locked out. And I open the door and they're both just on the ground looking at me. And one's like, meow. And I'm like, oh, of course you get meow all the time. For Doomhammer. But I shut the door. So little baby cats. Want to keep this in case of pirates. Do you think the Rubian Prophets are too slow for this deck? Absolutely, 83. I mean, Thing From Below is like a way better version of that anyways. I am a child now. I am. I am. Bring it on, knight. Bring it on, Kneef! Kneef! Say goodbye to control the board, knight. Peace! My god, he's countering me so hard. I can't even believe. Ah. That rat dicked bastard. Now here's a question. Do I Jade Claws? Yeah, I think I think this is fine. I'm slightly worried of the <laughs> I have to try to like chuck it away immediately. I think I actually need the hot spring guardian. It's hot, hot like a heart spring. Okay, so this is this is one of the more positive outcomes for us, all right? Because I can pop his four two. Do you want to pop a four two? Do you want to pop a four two? Now I'm 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 a little bit low, but I could like evolve and then hot spring guardian. Hot Spring Guardian and then evolve, but I don't even know if I really want to do that that badly. Yeah, that's the one that I didn't want to ever be real. I don't think I'm ever going to get a better opportunity to run this down, so I'm going to do it. Nice. close to being as much. So now I can like do this, evolve, and then play this. I kinda want the taunt up. As I said before. I love these cat emotes. These cat emotes are amazing. Cool cat is the coolest emote here. Whoa, Day9 has the soul read. Let's get let's get low. He's just, he's gonna hear a power pass, man, I'm telling you. Thirsty indeed, okay. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go attack. I'm gonna go attack. I'm gonna do this. Wow, that is absolute filth right there. I think I actually do this because I have Jade Claws. I have Jade Claws. This is this is gross. This is a grody outcome. 
Okay, so let's see what we get. Balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Close. Very close. Very, very close at Scaly. If I want, I could tap this and gain two armor. If I gained two armor, I don't. I don't think that changes terribly much. Off. Strike. I have to do this anyways. Like, if he has Leroy and Heroic Strike. X marks the spot. So he can't win, right? Very well. I mean, he can, like, hit here. Give me an armor. Tori Kyoya says, I've been AFK for 45 days and Hearthstone a Pirate Warrior is still a thing? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yes, the yeah, idea is. Alright. It's me, your good old pal, Armor Sean! Oh my gosh, can you believe the work this Armor Smith has been doing for us, man? Oh! Oh, little stone clock to Oh my god, a thing from below. Are we serious right now? Oh, yeah. You know, with Primal Fin Totem and Manatide Totem, it looks like Manatide Totem has a frazzled little head. Look at the work being accomplished by the Stone Claw Totem and this armor suit. We got insanely lucky in this game. This was re frickin' dickalous. Strike! Damn. Man, I really want to play Dota. I'm going to do a little bit of that. No, I want to... I'm trying to make myself do more... Oh... Finish him off, Totem! Bam! I've been, I've been telling myself that I, uh... That I want to do more long-term things. And playing Dota is... is It technically is that, because it's a skill-based game, and I can get better and improve and work on all that shit. But, like, I, I want to... Games of Dota are like a little bit at a time, like working, built. No, that's not how I want to say it. How do I want to say it? I'm trying to make myself do things that are more me all alone working on something. Something as simple as rereading through Akira, one of the most. This might even be my favorite work of fiction ever. I love Akira, man. Akira is awesome. It is insane. It has quite the holy shit moments. This is great. This is exceptional, even. So I just want to like work on projects, build skills. So I'm probably gonna try to make myself do some programming tonight. Probably just like make myself work on that. Fiddle, fiddle in Unity. I'll never tell. Please don't play. 8,000 secrets one time. No 8,000 secrets one time. Uh, come on, one time. Just once. Just one time. 
That might be the sickest play ever. Okay, so here's what we have to do. We have to attack with this. So that could be a cat trick. Very well. We could devolve that. We could draw one. Is this okay? I think I'm just drawing one, I think. You know, that's probably the most relieving result for me. Just chuck that away. So, so I have played his deck a lot. And Addictive Means is not catch tricky, cast portal. Yeah, wow, man. Brain farting happening hardcore today. Come midnight. But the the way that we lose this game is if he just like mega bursts us. Because this thing peters out, man. Uh, this is insane for me to say, but I think I, I think I want Primordial Drake. I mean, this has a ton of synergy with everything that our deck's about. I wonder. I think this is a better choice. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. Primordial Drake is just nice because I'm at thirty. We're at turn five. Oof. That is a really interesting selection for this. Well, I'm lucky as hell. I think we've all talked about that before. Um, bang. I was quite lucky. Yeah, it's just, it's just had too much synergy with Evolve, with the Pirates, with the Jade Claws. Yeah. Hi, my name is Sean. I saved Devolve for this. I saved my father saved Devolve for this. The question is, do I devolve now or do I hit and devolve now? I think this is five mana, so I think that's actually really threatening. So I'm gonna do this now. Shit. Really? Thanks. This looks so weird. Oh, yes, I've been animal bitted. What do you know? He's not running Murlocs in his secret hunter. That didn't. Quite hit the mark. <laughs> I'll never tell. Oh balls. Oh good god. I feel I feel in Ooh, I feel in bad shape. Good luck. This, this looks bad. Over Reward is an interesting card. Ah. You going now? Do this and no. Well played. 
Well, at least we were definitely dead. At the very least. At least we were super superlatively dead. JKY Mark says, if you evolve an Aya that costs 8 to play, does it summon a 9 card or 7? It costs 8 to play, but once it's out, it has the original assigned value to it. So. Worldwide, so should we expect the Revel of videos in the next few days? Or Dana mentioned that he finished recording them earlier. Yep, yeah, absolutely. They're all heading out this week. All the rest, I should say. For Doomhammer. I recorded 100% of them. And they are up and out and about. Ugh. We're against a rouge. Let's get the Blood Sail Corsair, a Firefly, and some Jade Claws. Close. Close. Job done. Old Wise says, thanks, but no thank you. May you enjoy it forever. So it's not a quest rouge. I'm gonna slow it down. We're slowing it down. I think this deck is fun, fun, fun. Hit me with that Corsair, huh? Okay. Out of my jungle! Alright, 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 alright. Oh yeah, uh huh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Missed a point of damage for no reason, yeah. Some Dana learns Dota updates that I'm typing about. He really did not want that one seeing the light of day. Damn. Oh. Vile Spine, man. That's nuts. Sean just typed a book. Yeah, no, I, I sometimes bang a book out every now and again. But yeah, uh, just talking with uh, Kevin, aka Purge, about updates to tomorrow's show based upon the pack that pa fact that a patch came out. Also based upon the pack that a patch came out. This guy's a toast. It is a pack that a fatch has come out recently. Just blowing everything, man. The Brotherhood Shell Cafe. Well, no problem. I'll rip Devolve off the top and laugh my way to the moon. Close, Dan. Very close. You were close. Thank this, this, this. I think I should want to go ahead and pop them right here, just to, just for preparations. For proper preparations. Oh my god, he hit us with a so divine bio spy. You know, maybe I should be keeping devolves more against. Growth. 
Maybe I should be keeping Devolves more against Rogue because of the fact that if I'm up against a Quest Rogue, I can Devolve a lot of his triggers. And if I'm up against this guy, he will often have Arcane Giants. We have for vengeance. Okay, so it looks like we are in acceptable shape because we play this. This thing's cost gets reduced. This makes its cost get reduced, and then we can do this. This is okay. Eviscerate me. It's gonna be real sad. Oh shit. Oh shoot, Dex. Man, I don't wanna lose. Oof. Okay, so I think that we're getting slightly better mulliganing information. But, as with all things Hearthstone, you find a deck that's 55% win rate, hit go a bunch of times, and then you too can be a legend. Hearthstone is like the casino where it actually doesn't necessarily favor the house. <laughs> Let the hunt begin for Doomhammer. Hermit Gerd for Doomhammer. Okay, so I don't want you here. I don't want you, nib Nibnards. Flibflums. And whoop. yeah. So do I jade claws and then evolve right away? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. You never know, man. Can kill that. Yes. Yes. Oops, I forgot the lesson title. God, the title of the show changed. Fuck. Greetings, traveler. Greetings, traveler. Do I devolve it? Do I devolve? Hello? How much mana is this? This is one. Do this. Pop him. Pop him. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. Big, big bada boom. Big bada boom. Beardsley says, did you guys know that the largest congregation of peregrine falcons is in New York City? I did know that. Insanely enough, from a random factoid my mother told me a long time ago, which is that, um, I don't remember the name of the park, but it's the big park in the middle of New York City. Central Park? Central City Park? New York Central Park? One of those names? It's apparently one of the last big areas of natural shit. Oh, I'm so filthy. For the people who fly, the people, for the birds that are flying in their migratory pattern, that's one of the last big stops. Dude, I think I'm gonna stone hill and evolve. What do you think? Pringles Pecan says, did you know the largest amount of Atlanta Falcons live in Atlanta? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, well. 
<sighs> what say we? What's your bitter tide? Hydra gonna do now! Because I, mean, I could devolve it. But then I couldn't really do terribly much else. And I want to do terribly much else. I want badly to do terribly, terribly much else. But we waited for the high main. How sick was that? Do you want to be a high main? Whoa, that's pretty remarkable right there. That's insane. Whoa, man. Oh my God, that's that's incredible right there. I'm just going in, man. I'm going in, I'm evolving. This is ridiculous. Holy cow, wow, wow. Kill this important one. We get a flame tongue. Oh my, a Radiant and the Curator. God! That is ridiculous. I mean, despite the fact that this deck is not... this I'm sorry, this deck is crushing. We're 6-4 and four with this. That's, that's an extraordinary win rate. Um, for someone who's clumsily piloting it like me due to lack of experience. I mean, ignoring win rates at all. Did you just see that? That is satisfaction guaranteed right there. Oh, here's another interesting inquiry from Beardsley, who says the 99-pound person eats one pound of nachos. Does that make them 1% nacho? You know, I guess it does. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let me keep the taunts up. Ready for action. I think we devolve our way through this problem. That is so unfair. I can't believe it. That is so unfair. I can't even believe it. Ah, oh, Total Biscuit says, and on the ninth day, God created trumpets. <laughs> That's a throwback. Mr. John Bain, I'd like to introduce you to a deck that can win. He can win, but its primary purpose is to go... <laughs> and it lets me do that most of the time, which is fantastic. So let me chuck that guy back. Oh. We got Raunchy in here. You guys have check marks. Woo! That means you get to be pretentious, and it's justified. Which is incredible. Oh my golly god damn. Look at this. Look at this glory. Look at him. I'm just letting him know that I can complete my quest before he can. Remember Total Biscuit was a sub here? Well, I'm a sub to Total Biscuit. So we're just, we're just jerking each other off and giving a cut to Twitch. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm gonna do this. That's right. <laughs> Twitch is like, I want in on this. I really like that. It's all good. It's a lot of fun. I think something like this is gonna be tight. 
elements guide me. I'm, just, I'm going in, man. I'm going for the juggler. Now, the only way we get really toasted is if he's got another fan of knives. But I would assume he doesn't because uh, I'm extremely lucky. That's good for us. Oh, I'm going to try to do the combo on this particular turn. I'm going to return this to the hand, and that's going to let me do this. And play the firefly again, and then I think that'll let me... Go over here, okay, do that there. Alright, we got a turn. We got ourselves a real turn. Um am I gonna let that shit fly? I guess I'm gonna wait just one more turn. Like this. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna hit here and here. This turn was an awesome turn. I think this is good. I think this is the winning play right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to send everything into the face. We're going to play the thing from below. We're going to evolve. And then we're going to go... <laughs> As desired. Drink with me, friend. Drink with me, friend. a firefly and it's so amazing. I'm a firefly. We're evolving two turns in a row. Oh yes! Welcome to my board, G-Man! Sitting in the corner with your weird ass intonation in your briefcase. Oh! Oh, he doesn't know! He doesn't know! We got this one! <laughs> oh, he doesn't know! We had, we had this the whole time! <sighs> did. This is a little tricky because he can just hit us to crystals, but I feel pretty good about myself. Ooh. Ooh, this is a little dirty. I am a tyrant now. Quite what I was expecting to happen. But this is cool. Fight. Not what I anticipated would happen, but it is what happened. I am free. Boom. <laughs> And the skill portion of this deck is that you often have an entirely arbitrary set of creatures on the board. How do you power trip with it? You fucking do. I think this is the I think this is the one right here. Well met. Greetings, friend. So I wanna double firefly on turn one. Nope. Don't care about doing that, not in the slightest. Gone. Oh no, it looks like you can't rock pool hunter anymore. This sucks. Ugh. I've gotten him. Oh, dude, I love that. That Summit has his GG. I have my Good GG. This has a little bit more coloration and flair. Mine's just like... 
mine is a being of pure awesomeness. Now what the hell happened here? I think this, I think this, I think this. My name is Sean, I'm using my brain, and it's helping me think this. Out of my jungle. Dude, my cat's meowing hard at the door. She wants to come in. She's like, Cat Dad, you're behind that door. I know it. I know you're there, Father. Father. Father, oh Father, why have you forsaken me? I miss you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Father! It's me! It's Sheriff! Meow! Meow! You know the desperate, sad meow that a cat makes? And part of you are like, oh my god, don't joke about that. Well, I will, because the only reason I know it is because these unbelievably spoiled, sheltered cats that have hundreds of dollars of toys and custom litter boxes. Oh, you're going to want to say that. These little sweet baby cats? Yeah, royal treatment up in here, man. Royal treatment. And the door is shut and they lose their minds. I'm going to make fun of them a little bit before they have their gourmet, ultra-healthy dinner that includes a mix of wet and dry foods. So they balance their protein and carbohydrates as prescribed by the, the veterinarian, okay? Like, I'm on top of the shit with these cats. What to do? Father! Ow! Ow! Fjord fly. Father, oh! Let me, can I tell you the daily schedule of Sheriff? Why? Why is this what I'm against? Jerk. Running this out. Old jerk cats. Oh my god, I didn't even think that he would run that. Oh my god. Okay, I, I, I really, sincerely don't know what the deck he is. This does suck a little bit. This was created by... No, he's hard running this. I... I'm a little confused as to what exactly he is. Because he ran out the Murloc that you only really run if you're running a significant number of Murlocs. And so thusly I'm like, huh? That's right, the Abomination was from Stonehill. That's right, that's right. Hey, Bomb from Stonehill, we got it, we got it, I get it. Reporting for duty. Sunkeeper Tarim is hard run in most Paladin decks these days, so that doesn't surprise me, but... Um, it's also drawn from 100% of, um, I want to keep this guy out of this right now. It's, it's put in 100% of, oh, thanks. And it's drawn by 100% of Stonehill Defenders. There you go. Jay Quactus is holy shit, so I just saw the cards for this expansion, and is Ramp Druid any good with the Druid quest? Because it looks like it would be great. It's, paradoxically, it's terrible. It's terrible in a, in a Ramp Druid. Yes! <laughs> Guys, I'd like to congratulate us on a ripping Evolve in one of the next two cards. I'm so excited. I can't believe that we finally managed to do it. Uh, how greedy do we want to be, huh? Let's freak him out a little bit first. Let's go maximum greediness. Wow, I run like God. Congratulations. I just I want to give a round of applause. Give a round of applause to myself. I mean, if we're able to pull stuff like that, the fact of the matter is, 
it would not surprise me to see another revolver right on the top of that deck. Shrink them! Shrink them. Doesn't bother me. Well, I smell a devolve in my future. You can hit it. <laughs> okay. God, I actually have to clear cards. Okay, so we're gonna... Go away. Like this, we're gonna hit like that. We're gonna play this. Um, it doesn't technically matter, so I'm just gonna do this. I'm then going to do this. I'm going to run this guy down for one. And I'm going to evolve. Good lord, that is fantastic news. Things turned out okay. He's used both Consecrations. He's used an Equality. He probably got Sunkeeper to Rim. It's fine. Doesn't matter to me. Um, yes, but paradoxically, the Druid quest really sucks in Ramp Druid because. Tell you, tell you, that's that's in a hundred percent of the. Of the it's okay. One more evolve coming up. Um, ramp decks fundamentally don't have terribly much draw. Well, it panned out nicely. They, they never really have that much draw. And so, um, I'm doing it. So I lost a little bit of damage here because if this guy is charged, then I could blood lust at him. Listen. But, uh, yeah, Druid decks tend, uh, Ram decks tend not to really have very much draw on them because you can't have a deck that has draw and a shitload of ramp and a shitload of huge creatures. You kind of, like, start running out of space on the deck to do interesting things. Now, the question is, do we just kill him? Well, I mean, I, I sense a bloodlust in my future, so maybe that'll be the way that we do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Elements, yeah, no more consecrations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So for that reason, that's why it kind of stinks. Uh, often when you have the quest in a ramp druid, uh, Immediately, you the shoot yourself in the foot because you don't have ramp. ramp. Which, which stinker. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to... Actually, I want to do it like this, if it's Noble Sacrifice. Good. Get down! Hey, yo, get down. I'm going to shoot like this. Except for the base damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, again, I'm totally fine to roll on this because of the fact that he's used both his consecrations. No, father, no. So first of all, you, you, you play the druid quest. You get it first. Let me put that thought on hold. I want to come all the way back to turn one where he ran the one two Murloc. I'd like to be very clear on this. He ran the one two Murloc that gets bigger when you play more Murlocs. And that is only really run in aggressive decks, which means that Morpheus over here, offerer of red and blue pills, is essentially running a pile of cards. I have no clue what 
what happened in his deck construction. What is this? Well played. That is weird as hell. Because basically, what what was weird to me is that he he was running the extreme aggro murlocs in there right on turn one and then the remainder of his deck was more mid-rangey things blood axe Zune said it's trump's paladin deck can you link that because i i think it's not i think it is not trump's paladin deck because most of the mid-range decks um simply don't run that other guy. Let's see, we're against an Unta. Probably need something a little more active. Hmm. Actually in a bunch of mid-range problems? Are we serious? Really? When did this happen? This must have happened in the last few weeks when I was not really playing. I guess I'm just straight up wrong. Because the 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 huge reason we lost is that um, I treated it as a, as an aggressive deck. That was that was the big for sure. Let's get him going, baby. And so, I'm starting to see here, there's actually a lot of Tide Callers in these mid-range decks. This must have happened just in the last week or two. Last week or two, I've been playing essentially no Hearthstone except for on stream. And I've been totally all in on the dotes. Man. Suddenly now, that's the sort of loss that I actually like quite a lot. Because the big thing that went wrong was that I misread his deck because I was not up to date on how decks are currently being constructed. And, you know, upon reflection of what my struggles used to be with the other mid-range Merlot Paladin decks... Um... Ah, oh, fuck. How lucky am I? So lucky! It's our greatest skill. God, I'm so sick. Yeah. Uh, upon reflection, the other Murloc Paladins that I've been trying to run, like especially the ones that I used to have the Legend with, did struggle to get board control early on. So a Murloc Tidecaller seems like a nice tool to have a turn 1-1-2 one, one, on the board, in addition to the turn 1-1-3 one, one, that you can often get. Um, ooh, that's very filthy. In addition to the turn 1-1-3. One, one, Actually, that's a really cool shift around that's happening. That's tight. It makes a lot of sense. But again, that's a really cool loss because um, it's it's my lack of knowledge of the metagame from being just like a week or two out of touch. That's cool, man. This is an ideal turn to do this on. Because we have the, the Devolve and Bloodlust. It's probably going to have to hit there. Holy shit, I'm lucky. No taunt one time. 5, 10, 14. 14 and 12 is 26. Well, let's go ahead and devolve and see what happens. Back! Can I still... No, I can't quite. Can I? Oh, well. The biggest loss. I'm 
I don't even care, dude. Jesus! Every evolve is insane in this game. Well fought. I concede. Blood Axe is new. You don't have to keep talking about it. The initial link serve is more than enough. Oh, you didn't link that. Oh. Yeah, my bad. Primal Fin Totem. Dude, turn one, double Firefly. Double Fire Dudes. Turn two, Primal Fin. Excuse me, Jade Claws. Turn three, Primal Fin Totem. That's just really nice. It's better to do turn one. You know, actually, I think this is significantly better. Because I can now do this the next turn, and I'm just generating more value. And paladins really suck at clearing these early on. I'm glad I took the extra second to think about that. Good job, Sean. There it is. Congratulations. Heard of Dead Cells? Yeah, I heard of it. Uh, it's... It piques my interest. I might give it a shot at some point. This Friday, though, we're playing Prince of Persia Sands of Time. Very excited about Prince of Persia Sands of Time, dude. I love... that's That, for the longest time, was in my top ten favorite games of all time. Probably still is. I don't talk about my top ten. My top five I have pretty regimented. Um, outside of StarCraft and Dota. Because those, those games are lifestyle choices. Um... Elements guide me. You know, I'm gonna do this. See what he does. Just wanna see what he does. Um, Beatmania 2DX. Fallout games. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Banjo Kazooie. What happened to my brain? Why am I unable to remember some of my favorite games of all time? What even is? Hey, we have a lot of X3s. What's this guy? Not the Dark Fisher, man, sick. Holy shit. We got Beat Mania 2DX. I gotta re-go through this. I used to do I used to have my top five list down. What the heck? Hmm. You know what? Screw it. There's just a shitload of games I love. People are typing all sorts of games that I love, and it's completely screwing up my ability to think of what my proper top five list is. There it is. There it is. Dodging it. So sick. Oh my god. Unbelievable. That's incredible. God forbid I can't help. I think I'm in the slow and steady game. Uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 2. Oh my gosh, I love that game. The Witness, I love. Antichamber, I love. Shadow 293903 says, if you play the 2008 Prince of Persia, it was absolutely one of my favorite games. I didn't like it. I gotta revisit it, but I mean, Reporting Prince of Persia Sands of Time was so dramatically much better than that game that it just hurt me. Just sit down and play that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 plus 12 is 18, plus 2 is 20. Damn it all. Go on, 
Gosh, that's so close. Soul Calibur on Dreamcast is amazing. Uh, Stardew Valley, one of God, one of those amazing games ever. So I'm said Battletoads, and I think that was right on one of the five, right? No, I've never. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about Nintendo Battletoads except my brother and I played it as kids. That's all I remember. Don't remember a damn thing about that. Chrono Trigger is amazing. The original Mass Effect, so sensationally good. Should I? Toe Jam and Earl. Love that game. Guardian Heroes on the Sega Saturn. Shining Force 3 on the Sega Saturn. Um, What are just exceptional games? Inside, Inside I would list as one of my favorite games of all time. Loved Inside. Despite the fact that the ending pissed me right the hell off. It, it hurt me in, in a good way. It made me really want to dig into it. To the Moon is amazing. Oh my god, Earth Defense Force 2017. What a work of art. What a game that knows precisely what it is. You know, there's. I, I've talked about this before. I love when a piece of media commits to what it is. It just commit. It goes all in. Amazing example: Guacamelee. 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 Oh, everything in that is perfectly stylish. The characters, the poses. Like when your character stops moving, he does this. The movement, the typeface. Look at the brick walls that surround the levels and just absorb how much they they match that Day of the Dead luchador style shit. It's it's devoted and you feel the identity of it. Hotline Miami. My god, you feel the identity of it. It's so sharp. There's nothing like it. It's amazing. Um, Earth Defense Force 2017, specifically, is just clowny, man. It is an absolute B-grade science fiction show. Just straight up. Absolute B-grade. Now, I think I actually want to trade like this to preserve the two, or the two damage. Excuse me. And that is... Like, there are only four voice actors in the entire game. And the characters that they voice act die, and then different characters are voice acted by the same voice actors with literally no change in inflection. It is amazing. This is a really nice card to rip down right now. The, the animations, the guns, the loading screens, everything in that game is just B-grade science fiction fun. I've 100%ed that game several times. I think three. It's weird to me that my brain is unable to procure this information as readily as it used to be, but we'll say three. Three is what we're going to say. We're sticking to that. To save our mother from any alien attack From vicious giant insects who have once again come back God, it's such an unbelievable game Beardsley says, what about your bottom five? I haven't played a game that... I, I mean, I stopped them, but I don't know, like... I almost don't want to say them, because oh, it just hurt. I, I don't want to say It's just not... It's not fair to say. I can talk about games that I dislike that other people like a lot that could be surprising. I can talk about those ones. Fairly handy dandedly. Uh, black and white. Despised. Only played as a kid. Only played as a child. And I went from Warcraft 2 and Command and & Conquer to Starcraft. And then to Black and White. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what? What is this game? Mm. 
Very well. To save our mother from anything. Dude, this matchup is so favoring me. I can't even believe it. This is like ridiculously unfair. Um, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 did not like in the slightest. Did just could not like. Um, and I know there, I can explain why with that one, which is that the tool set, tool set was so obtuse to use for a brand new user who never played the games. I literally didn't get to like do anything. Um. I figured out the strategy! open up my Steam library and just glance through games. Rocket League's amazing, Dota's amazing, StarCraft's amazing. The Room, I really liked The Room. Overcooked, holy shit, that game is great. We're going to start with A's. Amnesia, The Dark Descent has got to be one of my favorite games of all time. Truly an exceptional game. Freaked me out. A lot. Like, really got to me, but just like very well done. It was a game that actually had like a rich story with interesting shit going on in it throughout it. Uh, Antichamber. Loved Antichamber. So good. Astroneer. Oh my god. Banished was amazing. I loved Banished. Bastion. Oh my god. Batman. Arkham. Uh, Arkham whatever the fuck. <laughs> Batman. Arkham whatever the fuck. You know? Arkham Asylum was just incredible. Gosh, I love that game. Continue with the bees. Bioshock and Bioshock. Mind if I roll need. Incredibly well done game. Broken Age, for as much as it tilted me, felt perfect. I am a child of elements. Building up momentum. Uh, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Wow, I gotta really play that game. That's like a very moving game and a very beautiful one. Let's see here. City Skylines, just the most relaxing. And that's a great example of a game that really slowly doles out features to you and educates you on how to play the game. And it's just... Mastafaliban. Hello, my name is Mastafal. Mastafaliban. Alright, I look forward to Volcanic Potion being awkward mana for him next turn. Oh, gosh, what else? CS goes. Excellent. Crimson Land. Oh, Crimson Land. Oh, I love Crimson Lane. Crimson Lane is so sick. It is so tight. It is so tight. Crimson Lane is just a great little action game. I love games like that. Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. The greatest games ever. They're just the absolute number one greatest ones. Love them. Absolutely fucking love them. Uh, let's see here. Um... Crimson Land is great. Let's see, what else do we have in D? Daisy. Excuse nope. me. You are on fire. Conceptually cool, but implementation-wise, just to not really speak to me. Patches has been alive for many turns on board. That's great. The Dig, dude. Any old school adventure game I have a soft spot for. Hell yeah, the Dig. Uh, Doom. Doom was really nice. I didn't finish that, but. I was, that, that's another game that just committed to what it was. Factorio. God, Factorio is so cool. Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3. I just have to lose myself in those games for a few weeks. What to do? I might just do, like, I, I, I've been talking about this, but I'm really tempted to do, like, a boring month where I stream, like, seven days a week, talk relatively little, and just play all these fucking games. Let's see. So we have we have eight damage on the board. Excuse me. Eight plus. You are on fire. Not a lot. Still have eight damage on the board. Shoot me in the face. No, in the face. No, in the face. No. Five, six, seven. This is a nice turn. Flame strike. Not a big deal. Um, I gotta, I gotta just do a boring month where I stream like 15 hours a day. All I'm doing is streaming, and I just like really binge those games. 
like super hard. Fez? Fez? What a game Fez was, huh? What a game Fez was. A volcanic, a volcanic potion. Very well. That is so amazing. New bag five says Dark Souls. Do we? We're, we're at F. We already talked about Dark Souls. That was incredible. For Honor. You know what? I'm uninstalling that game. Yeah, I think I asked for a refund on it. Actually, really was not a fan of it. Restart, oh my god, you play has to open up. Oh god. Let's see, FTL, oh that game was so addictive. You need me to log in? No, no, I'm not gonna do that. Just delete the game content. I think we lost this. Out of my jungle! Well, I'm gonna do this. So I would not do that. Gonna get a dragon. Uh, Fury. Oh, Fury was exceptional game. Incredibly satisfying. Gemini Root, you should all play. It's a brilliant little adventure game. Uh, Grim Fandango. Um, again, has a special place in my heart as all those games do. Guacamelee. Holy shit, Half-Life 2. Oh! Half-Life 2. That's that's got to be one. That's one of the. It's one of my. It's got to be one of my number ones of all times. All right, here we go. Please don't have unbelievable cards. Of all the gods in the game. Elements guide me. Hitman is actually pretty fun. Hollow Knight, I've been playing obsessively lately. That's great. Hotline Miami. Why did I only play for four hours? I play for more than that. Per day. How close am I to 11? Oh, we were close. Well, I think I'm done for the day. I think I'm done for the day. For what it's worth. Oh, let me just gotta talk about some other games. We gotta go through some. Hotline Miami, Hollow Knight, Hyperlight Drifter, three incredible H games you should all play. Inside was amazing. Uh, Julia Among the Stars, I actually wouldn't recommend. Um, was not. Uh, there's just other games that are great. Kerbal Space Program made me laugh. <laughs> King's Quest. Oh, the King's Quest collection. I gotta revisit those. Stop at M. Yeah, Kingdom of Amalur Reckoning. Wow. What a throwback that is, man. I gotta. That game, the writing in that was really good. A uh, Kitty Powers Matchmaker. <laughs> L.A. Noir. I've never played, never played. Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. God, I really wish that worked in windowed mode. I tried to play that one uh, day, but couldn't get the tech to play properly. Left for Dead, weirdly, I was not a big fan of. I mean, it entertained me when I did play it, but um, I only played it for, let's see, four hours. Limbo. Oof. Beautiful game. Beautiful game. Uh, to the moon? To the moon is not from A to M. What, hap what happened to alphabetization, guys? I said we're, we're going alphabetically. Machinarium. That's a nice game. I remember getting stuck on that like hell when we streamed it. <laughs> um, Mark of the Ninja? I need to revisit that. I've played it for 42 minutes. Let's see, Mirror's Edge, I quite enjoyed, although it made me a little bit sick to my stomach. Um, and that's M, that's our A to M games, man. That's our A to M games on Steam. Well, I'm gonna use restroom. Uh, and end the show right now. The show's done, it's over. I'm gonna continue to play this album that I've been obsessively listening to, this Motorout album called Three. 
Uh, tomorrow's going to be me learning Dota. The topic is defending high ground, which is not the topic that's listed on my website, so I'm going to change that right now. Day9.tv. Slug, please be cautious. Defending high ground. How to defend high ground. Publish. So that should be updated. So let me go home. Let me go to my overlay control and force the update. It'll just show incorrectly. That's fine. But I'll see you tomorrow for Day 9 Learns Dota. Thursday I'm doing uh, the Token Druid. And Friday is Prince of Persia Sansa Time.